Hey folks, we're up here in New Hampshire today. I got an email request from a subscriber last night that wanted me to put together something on presentations from the holster and how he could improve the speed at which he got the gun up and on target. Well, interestingly enough, I've been working yesterday on that very thing. So what I thought I'd do now is give you guys some feedback on some of the things I've been working on. What we know is when rounds are being fired under stress, there's approximately three rounds fired per every second. That translates that if it takes you two seconds to get the gun out and your first shot off, that means six rounds have come at you, theoretically. So the faster that we're able to safely present our gun, and if it only takes us a second to do that, then that's three less rounds that I have coming my way if that person is always shooting, already shooting at me. Conversely, if the guy's coming at me and I'm able to get my gun and deliver combat effective hits before that threat uh, hits me, I might be the winner in that gunfight. Again, the ideal gunfight is one we never have to get into. However, we do train. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that today. Specifically, what is the process and what are some of the things that you can do to enhance the speed of your presentation, the draw from holster to a target, to a threat? What you're seeing and what I'm demonstrating is something you should not do until you're really clear and really safe with how to manipulate the firearm to begin with. Uh, it's also something you shouldn't do in terms of practicing with any live ammunition. So you should do dry practice with this from holster until you're confident and comfortable with it. Finally, start slow. You don't get to one second or under one second until you've done a lot, a lot, a lot of presentations. You've got to be safe first. And if you're not safe, then you shouldn't be trying to go faster. So, enough of me talking about that. Let's show you some of the things that I've picked up and I'm working on myself as not only an instructor, but I'm a student first. Every single day that I go to the range or every single day that I get up, I'm a student of the gun and I'm trying to learn how to be more efficient, more proficient, and smoother in everything that I do. I've been constantly working on my draw for years and years and right now I'm demonstrating something that I don't have a cover garment. Obviously with a cover garment I've got to drive that out of the way, either sweep it or simply come down across my chest to my sidearm. Ron Avery is really the expert on this and there's some YouTube videos that you should check out um, about him and what he teaches and what he does unbelievably well is he's able to with virtually no excess movement be very efficient with his presentation. I'm not an expert. I'm just telling you right now. I just practice and I and I have an interest in this stuff. So what I'm gonna append to this video is some work I did yesterday trying to get to that one one shot one second. And the goal is to be out of holster and get a shot at five yards on a you know body size target within one second. You're also trying to see the front sight. So what Avery teaches is this idea that if I were simply to, to clap my hands together, my hands come together right here. It's a natural point of contact. So as we're presenting the gun, we want to bring our two hands together here. The other thing, of course, is that if I'm just making a straight point to a specific area, I'm not punching out, I'm not doing all that stuff. And I've been working on punching out, so this is new training for me. But the idea is I simply lift up my finger to what the issue or what I'm pointing at. So what Avery is teaching is he's saying all you want to do is create enough space as you're drawing the gun right here to clear the holster. As you do that, you're bringing the gun forward and pointing you know, toward the target. So the hands are coming together in a clap, right? So as my hands come together, I'm going right out. And when I'm coming back, I'm doing the exact opposite. One thing that works really well is after you've gotten the gun out to here, is simply when you put it away, what do you do? So reverse that process. Well, most people just come back and they put the gun away, right? 
So all we want to do is mimic that movement going out. See our front sight presser shot. So I am literally dragging the front sight across my holster as I'm presenting the gun forward. And the reason I'm doing that, the reason Ron Avery teaches that, is I don't need to pull the gun way up here before I bring it forward. All I need to do is clear enough space of the top of my holster to get the gun moving forward. Pretty simple in concept, a little harder to do in reality. So yesterday I, bit, I did a bunch of, uh, of uh, work out of the holster and was able to get around one second, one shot, one second. I'm going to show that to you. And again, I am not an expert at this. I'm just showing you that if you practice this, right, and you really work on being efficient and not moving a lot, first thing we have to do is we've got to have a good grip on the gun, good firing grip on the gun. But if I work on this, then I'm able to, with speed, get my gun presented. And I'm seeing the front sight. And if you do this a lot, what's going to happen from a dry fire standpoint, dry practice standpoint, right, no ammo in the gun, no gun, no ammo anywhere around, is I'm going to be able to develop that muscle memory. Up. Up. Okay? So anyway, let's take a look at some of the videos uh, that I did yesterday just to show this to you. I'm not an expert. I'm not trying to show off. What I am trying to show you is what you can do simply by practicing some of these techniques. Economy of motion, right, means efficiency. Efficiency means proficiency. So we want to be smooth but fast. We also want to remember if there are incoming rounds, right, we want to move. But the faster I can get my gun out and deal with that threat, potentially the better position I'm going to be in. Finally, last point. From when I first started uh, studying and teaching a number of years ago, one of the things, one of the great instructors said to me, he said, you got to explode out of holster and then slow down enough to see your front sight and manage your trigger press. Really, that's all we're working on today. So check out the video. Let us know what you think. Obviously, if you like this video or any of the other videos that we produce, we'd ask that you Click the thumbs up icon, share it with your friends and family, and obviously comment if you like what you see. And if you don't like what you see, tell us what you'd like us to do differently. There's no ego involved here. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get to it. Point nine. One point oh one. Point nine seven. Three shots, one point four seven. First shot was 1.02. Second shot was 1.26. My split times were uh, two tenths of a second. Two point four seven, one point two eight, two point four seven on the reload, slow. Well, folks, that's it. That's a perspective on some of the things that you can do to increase the speed at which you get your gun out and on target. 
Again, work slowly at first, do a lot of dry practice, no live ammo. None of my guns, as I'm doing dry practice, have any ammo anywhere near them or on my person. So practice that. Hopefully you'll find it, as I have, an efficient way to get the gun out on target and speed up your presentation. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay safe.